Hi everyone, this is Matt from Fabnik, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bookbinder knot. So you can see that I've run my thread through this needle and there's a little knot here holding it on. Uh, if I have any tension on the line, that's going to keep my thread from slipping out of my needle. So that would be in contrast to just putting your thread through like this uh, and pulling it through your project and if you accidentally um, get snagged or get tension on the line, this can just pull right out. Uh, and then you have to constantly re-thread. So the first step in the bookbinder knot is to simply thread our needle. Now the first step that I usually do with threading is just take a pair of scissors and cut the end of my thread into a nice sharp point. And that's going to make it a lot easier for me to thread my needle. So I'm just going to run my thread through the eye of my needle. And now I'm going to pull the thread through the needle and I'm probably going to leave about three inches there more. And the reason I do that is because this needle is going to go right back through the thread. I need a little room to do that. So what I'm going to do is about a half an inch or so in, we're going to take our thread and we're going to twist it against itself and it'll open up the different strands. There you can see the individual strands are opened up. And now what I'll do is simply take my needle and pierce it through there and I'm just going to pull it through. And once I've done that, I'm going to switch and I'm going to grab the long end of thread and I'm just going to pull and my knot will come right up to the end of my needle. And there it is. That's your bookbinder's knot. Thanks so much for watching.